Hey YouTube, this is Other Prepper One. What I have in front of me is the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, uh, and it is their newest, biggest, uh, awesome, gigantic machine. But before I talk to you about this machine, I want to tell you, uh, Mr. Off Grid just left my house probably 30 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago. I had a, a bug in my system, and that's my big system, the system that we custom built, and it's a solar system. So a lot of people say, Dave, don't buy one of those things. Just build one. I talk to a lot of people that say, oh, i am just build one and have them no ability to build one. Uh, it, it's not just throwing equipment together. You might have to program. You might have to work the bugs out between all the different components. Uh, guys that install solar get paid well, and the reason they get paid well is hopefully when they leave your property – you have a great system that's commissioned properly, that's working together, that's optimized. So a lot of people say, ah, don't go with one of these boxes. Build your own. I will tell you, the people I've talked to, 99.9% .9 of them cannot build their own system. Now, if you want to just throw an inverter together, a battery, and some solar panels, and have a little tiny system, you could probably do that. But if you want the complex system like what's showing here and, and be able to take a lot of input uh, from the grid, from a generator, it's going to take a lot of work and you need to know what you're doing. Uh, Mr. Off Grid spent a couple hours, worked out my bug, fixed my problem. Uh, luckily, I have him to rely on. If not, I'd have a huge bill, probably three, four, five hundred dollars for a technician to come out and troubleshoot my little problem. So a box is not a bad thing for 99% of the people. So this is their newest model. Um, this has the ability through EchoFlow to use their app, use the Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, all that stuff. And as you know, I don't use any of that stuff. So the machine has to be what I want. Uh, every button has to be on this machine so I can use it. Um, this thing is a 7200 watt pure sine wave inverter. So it is gonna handle a lot of things. The battery sitting underneath it is 6,144 watt hours. Now, it does have wheels on it. The wheels are locked right now. Every wheel will lock because I do not want to take the chance of this thing rolling off. Uh, they uh, really spared no expense on the wheels. They move very quickly. They will scoot around. Um, so you need the wheels on it. They also make a, like a dolly, hand truck dolly for it. Um, because the thing weighs a lot. The brains of the unit is this top part. That's the inverter and all, everything you need. This section right here is the battery. The inverter is 72 pounds and the battery is 116 pounds. So you've got 188 pounds. The nice thing about this, this is the step above someone that just, hey, I want a little power box. Uh, this is is a system that you can expand to do your whole house. And I mean your whole house. It has that capabilities. You can put three of these batteries, or excuse me, five of these batteries with one of the inverters. Then you can take three whole units, three whole inverters. So you're talking a massive system. Now, granted, that's a very expensive system. Most people probably wouldn't need that, especially if they're just going to run critical load circuits. Pick what you need to run in your house, uh, and it will definitely run it. This is the LifePo 4 battery. That's what we want to look for, and it's good for 3,500 cycles. Then it will reduce uh, down to 80%. Uh, so you still have many, many cycles out of that, uh, and that's a lot of cycles, more than the average person is going to use. So the neat thing about this unit, it has the ability to preheat the battery. With any lithium battery, you do not want to charge it when it's under 32 degrees. Basically, you want to keep this comfortable. If you're comfortable in the conditions, then the battery is going to be comfortable. If it's comfortable, it is going to maximize the efficiency of it, uh, and it will last much longer. So that is a great feature, especially if you're up north and you have this in a place that gets down a little bit chilly. It's going to protect that lithium battery if you try to charge it. Um, so, so many things to talk about. First of all, the display on the front is huge. Um, you can see everything. It's going to give you everything you're going to need. Your input, your output. Um, 
everything you're gonna need. On the very front, you have your USB-Cs. There's two, and they're rated for 100 watts each. Moving over, you have your USB-A uh, ports um, in the front. You have your 120s, four of them. You have your 30 amp RV plug. And then drum roll, please, because this is important. This is an actual uh, 240 volt split phase. So most machines, if you wanna use 240, you gotta have two machines and pair them together. This one is built in where you do not need that. It's already there for you. Let's move across a little bit further and you have a door here. And basically what you have here is a 12 volt Anderson plug. It's rated for 360 watts. There is no cigarette uh, lighter adapter on here. This is made for someone that's wanting to run a house. Uh, and most people really do not want that feature. Um, if you do need it, you can definitely use this Anderson port and run some 12 volt off that. That is not a problem. Then we're gonna drop down and you have your low PV voltage. And this is rated for 30 to 150 volts DC, up to 1600 watts. And they do give you the cables for that. Um, you have a switch here when you're charging it. So you can charge it at different levels. If you're not using the app, I think it's pre-made at 500 for the slow and 1800 for the watt, or 1800 watts for the fast speed. This is ultimately the very important for me because there is times when I might be using a generator and I have some excess power, but I don't have the full 1800. I can go to slow mode and charge it at 500 or sometimes I want to charge it slow. When you charge this battery slow, it is best for the batteries. When you slam it with a lot of watts, it's not as good for it if you're trying to make this thing last forever. Underneath it is your grid power or your plug for your generator. And that's how you're gonna power it off your grid or your generator. These can come off, you can just pull these off so if you don't need them on, you can just take them right off. Let's move to the side of the machine. What we have here is high voltage. So you have low voltage on the front, up to 1600 watts. On the side, you have the high voltage. And this is crazy. Um, you need to be very careful. They actually have a PV shutoff here. So you can shut the unit off um, as you connect it and disconnect it. Just because of the rate of charge on that, um, be very careful. But the rate of charge on it will definitely go between 80 and 450 volts, up to 4,000 watts. So if you combine the 4,000 watts here, you can combine them with the 1,600 to give you 5,600 watts. That is why it is made for, you know, a full system to, you know, use it in your house because you need to put a lot of power in, especially if you have a bunch of batteries. Next to it is a level two EV charger. Most people really don't use those. Um, Next to it is your battery indicator, how much juice you have in it. I think one of the best things they've made, and I know companies are going to copy it because there has been so many people complaining about the big cords that come out. They're huge. Uh, they're trip hazards. Um, Echo Flow has gotten it right. So they come out with a 90. They push in and lock. You can actually tighten it right there so it can't come out. And then this one is to add additional batteries to your unit. Um, so you can stack five batteries for one of the inverters. Uh, so that is a huge, huge advantage. When we go to the back, this is the cooling system. Uh, the one thing I noticed, it's extremely quiet. That's because they changed their cooling system around. They don't have huge fans in there. Uh, and I think it's a, a home run for them. I think it's going to work out really, really good. Move over to this side. Really nothing to show you on this side. Um, but you might say, Dave, how am I going to use this? How am I going to power my house? Uh, you have to use this with there. If you want to connect it to your actual power grid, your panel in your house, 
Uh, they've come out with a smart home panel too. This is probably going to take an electrician that knows what they're doing to attach it, but you can attach that and then run these into it, and this is going to give you the ability uh, to pick critical loads and run them, and that's why it's really a complete home backup system. So you might say, Dave, I don't need this. If you're not looking for this, you can get by with a smaller box. But if you're looking for the ability to power most of your house without hiring a contractor, without spending fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars, this will give you that option. So today, Mr. Off Grid was all over this machine. Um, you know how he is. He's a nerd, and he nerded out on this thing. He's actually going to come back next week and do a video on it. We are going to do some crazy testing. He brought his oscilloscope over here, uh, and he liked what he saw. So the thing that we, we really like, me and Nate, is that 240. That is a game changer. The reason is... We are going to be welding, and we're going to show you. We're going to be using a Lincoln welder. It's a 240 outfit. We're also going to be using a plasma cutter, a 240 plasma cutter, and we're going to be cutting metal. We're going to be welding with a power box. So it's sort of crazy. I can use the sun, charge my power box, weld, and cut metal. That's the ultimate, really, survivor or homesteader uh, unit. Uh, and it will be all off of the sun. So I'm going to give you some links. Um, this was sent to me by Wellbot. Uh, they're teamed up with EchoFlow. Uh, I received zero money in compensation, but I do have the awesome uh, advantage of being able to keep the machine, but I do not charge anything for reviews. So they have a coupon code. Yeah, I think it's Southern 1000. I'll put that all in the description. That will give you $1,000 off. Uh, this unit is running, I think, about $57.99 minus the $1,000. So it's, it's a little under $5,000. So that is very expensive. But this is putting you uh, where you could definitely use the smart panel, hook it up to your house, uh, and have almost – you know, a complete system. So you could use those 240 outlets. Um, we're going to put this 240 to the test. It is only rated from out of this machine without using the smart panel. It's only rated for 30 amps. Um, that welder can max out right under 30 amps. So we're going to put it to the test. Um, the testing I've done, I, I have not found any problems with it. The efficiency of it is about... Uh, I think it was 87, 88%, something in that realm. Uh, it was average, so I was happy to see that. Uh, but the key to this machine is the ability to put max amount of solar into it uh, so you can charge it quickly, especially if you have multiple, multiple batteries. Uh, that's a great feature. Uh, the 240 is a great feature. This, finally, a company has listened. I have complained for a few years uh, about these huge cords that stretch out. Uh, they're a safety issue. Plus, they're a pain in the neck. Um, so, next week, Mr. Off Grid, Nate, we're going to be cutting a lot of metal. We're going to be doing some welding. Uh, we'll be putting the oscilloscope to it and doing a maximum test. Uh, but right now, this thing's a winner. Thanks for watching.